Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Delevator here, and today I'm going to show you guys really quickly how you can make your own custom views uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now, this is going to vary depending on which version that you have, Steam version or the Microsoft Store version. Uh, it saves the community folders uh, two separate places. Uh, however, I'm going to show you the Microsoft Store version. I, it's going to be the same if you can know where your community folder is for the Steam version. So really quickly, what you'll do is find your community folder, which I have already done. And the store for me is you have your users and my profile, app data, local packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator underscore, then a bunch of numbers and, and letters, local cache, packages, and then your community folder will be in there. Now, I have a bunch of things inside of my community folder. And what I'm going to do is use the Project Mega Pack, which is the only one that I have not actually set up custom views for. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to do that. You'll find the uh, aircraft that you are looking for. Open that up. Go into Sim Objects, Airplanes. And this folder may or may not be here depending on which aircraft you're actually doing this for. Uh, because this Project Mega Pack has two different variants. Uh, that are associated with this aircraft. I'm just going to pick one of them for the time being. All right, go down here, open that up, and then you'll go down to the camera config. You will double click that. And once you have this open, what you're going to do is scroll down to the camera definition point zero. This is the one that you are looking for. This is the pilot seat. When you first load in, this is the camera view that you're going to be looking at, you know, from the pilot seat. So what you'll do is scroll down from there and you're going to look for initial. X, Y, Z. The way I do it is I put a one in the first digit column, just like so. Um, it, it makes it so much easier to do because you know you're going to be outside of the aircraft to get those camera views that you really want. And then after that, you'll save it. Now, if you are not comfortable doing this, I completely understand. But what you want to do is copy and make a backup to this. However, it's not very difficult and I don't think it's necessary to make a backup config file just for this. Once you have that saved, what you're going to do is minimize that and you can go ahead and minimize this one as well. And you're going to go ahead and open up a Microsoft Flight Simulator, let it load, and then we'll go from there. Okay, now that my Microsoft Flight Simulator is loaded, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just start up a flight. It can be anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And you're going to find whatever aircraft you just edited. So for me, it's going to be the Project Mega Pack A330 and which would be this one. Like I said, this is two different variants here. Uh, for one for each one of those folders that I just said previously. You'll open that up and just pick your runway. Let's just go, uh, let's go San Francisco. How about that? And it doesn't really matter where you spawn in at. I'm just going to pick one. Let's go uh, Delta 6. Let's not just because it's a small gate. Let's go Heavy Gate. Yeah. And we'll go with that. If you are doing this inside of your community folder, you must edit the file before you open the game up. Uh, however, if you do edit it while the game is open, you will have to restart the game for so it can pull those settings from that community file. We load it in and here is what happens. As you can see, we are outside of the aircraft um, and this is where we make our custom views. What you'll do is just like inside the cockpit, you're going to use those arrow keys to move around and however you have it key binded arrow keys are by default and if say I want a wing view I can just kind of move close to the towards the aircraft here and we'll turn the camera around and say I wanted this view right here now uh, you get multiple uh, keys that you can save you have alt 1 through 0 is that right Zero through nine, I think it's the proper way. Zero through nine, and what you'll do, so let's just say I like this one and I want to keep it. You're going to do Control, Alt, and then Zero. That one is now key binded to Alt, Zero. So let's just say we'll go back to the view, and we'll do Alt, Alt, Zero. That is now your custom view. Now, be wary of this whenever you are doing this, because if you go inside of the aircraft and move the camera too far, you, you cannot come back out. Obviously, I just did that there. But let's get back in the cockpit. All right. See, like right here, we're not gonna. We shouldn't be able to go out. All right. Never mind. We evidently we can. 
Um, I don't know why that's the case. I, I've always been told you couldn't, but yeah. So you want to do the same thing depending on, you know, where you're wanting. So let's just say we want to have a under the belly type of view right here. Um, you want to get both of those engines and that landing gear. So what you'll do again is you'll make a different number. So we did Alt-0 for the wing view. We're going to do Alt-9. So we'll do Control-Alt-9 to save that, to go back to it. That's Alt-0 right there. Alt-9 is underneath the aircraft. Now, once you do all this, get every view that you want to set up, get that all squared away exactly how you want it. What you're going to do now is you're going to close the game, go back to that config file that we were editing beforehand, and reset that completely to how it was. So I'm going to close out the game, but what I'm going to do first is I can go ahead and delete that one that I put in that initial XYZ, and I'm going to save that really quickly. And now we are done with this aircraft. We can close it out. And we're going to restart the game. And when we come back in, we should be inside of the cockpit just like a normal flight. All right, so the game is now loaded back in. And what we're going to do is, again, same thing as before, pick a flight. Let's pick the same San Francisco. And we'll just pick the same gate that we were at as before. I don't remember what gate that was, to be honest with you. Foxtrot 22. Maybe that's right. And you're going to load in, and you should be back inside the cockpit just like normal. However, your custom view should still have saved. As you can see, we're back in the cockpit here. And just to test it out, just to be sure, we're going to do Alt-0. There is our custom view for the wing. And Alt-9 for our under-the-belly wing view slash tire view slash engine view. Uh, so... And while you're out here, you can actually go ahead and keep moving around just, you know, and set up custom views. So all you have to do is do it one time in the config and then use this to make more views if you want. Again, you're still going to be limited for Alt 0 through 9. However, it still helps you out in the, in the end. So if you just get one view set up on the outside, you can come back in and redo it all. Or you can do it all at one time. It's totally up to you. And then what you'll do to get back in the cockpit, you can just hit your reset button. I have mine key binded on my yoke. So I can go, you know, outside, you know, look around, yada, 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 come back inside, do Alt-0. I want to see that engine and come back inside the view. I'll just hit that reset key to bring me right back in. All right, so just as a test, I want to see if this is going to work. Uh, how This is your community folder here, right? You should have an official folder, which is the Asobo aircraft and anything that you download from the marketplace. And I'm going to do the default A320neo. We'll go in there, sim objects, airplanes, Asobo 320, and we should still have the camera config just like that. Now we're going to look for the same thing, initial XYZ. There it is. And I'm going to do one. I'm just going to add a one in there, and we're going to save that. I'm just going to minimize that for the time being, minimize that. All right, we got the game loaded back up again. We're going to try this with the A320neo from Asobo. It's the same process applies. Move your camera around. And what you'll do is just, again, Alt-0 or Control-Alt-0 for your view. Let's just go, you know, hey, we want this, this view right here. It looks really cool. Control-Alt-0. And you should be golden there. So, boom, just like that. I've always learned that you have to go over the fuselage, and sometimes you will hit a hit a a almost like a wall, like an invisible wall, like that. But what I have to do is go way up in the air, come back down, and then come over. Uh, we'll just do let's do that one as Control Alt Nine. All right, so you got Alt Zero, and then you have Alt Nine, and that's pretty much the same thing. The same process applies on the official. Uh, aircraft in the game as well as whatever you add to your community folder. Alright, so I hope this was very informative and straight to the point. I try to make it as short and sweet as possible. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me to make a video like this. So hopefully you guys took something away. Hopefully you guys can get some really good views out there. And again, I hope that helps somebody. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up as well. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks that you guys know about that you want to share, please drop them down in the comments below. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time.